Oh, full. All right, guys, it is Big Friday. That is it. The best day of the week. Every weightlifter's favorite fucking holiday comes once a week, and today is that day. We are 40 minutes away from the start of our workout. With that being said, Wednesday's training session was very, very good, very solid. That can mean one of two things. Today's gonna suck or today's gonna be really good. I highly doubt today's gonna be an average day. I don't wanna put numbers in the air and put goals in the air, but I would love to total 300 today. It's kind of a reach for sure, but I think it's definitely doable. So we just gotta stay focused and have a good training session. I think we can do it. Body feels fucking great. Recovery's been great. We're just very fucking, I took two full scoops, uh, Gorilla Mode Base, and I'm a little tweaked right now. I got the sunglasses on because I got crazy eyes. And I got sunglasses on because the future is bright. So we're going to go fucking tear up this training session. I'm not going to talk too much before. Mainly because I'm absolutely tweaking on caffeine. And because I like to just throw on some music and get dialed. Really try to just have a spiritual experience today. That's why I do this shit. To find God. Let's get to the fucking gym. Throw on the cameras. And oh yeah. We'll talk about that. I uh, may have. Didn't sleep great last night I will say I had a pint of ice cream around 8 o'clock and then at around 2 a.m. my intestines woke me up and told me that it's time to party so I was going through some shit in the bathroom um, I'm lactose intolerant but if you've ever had Jenny's gooey butter cake like that lactose intolerance is not even a factor that anyone would think about because that shit is so unbelievably delicious. It's like, oh, the extra carbs and sugar and blah, blah, blah. It'll just make me feel a little more full tomorrow. Make, make the, get some glycogen in those muscles. But instead, it just gave me uh, an hour of stomach pain and violent shitting. So anyways, that's the only speed bump in the road which I like. I like a good speed bump. I don't like prep for anything to be absolutely perfect because then expectations are so high that it's very rare that you meet those expectations. Whenever you have a couple speed bumps in the road, it takes the edge off. It makes you a little more comfortable. It's like what John Jones would just fucking get coked out and party before all of his biggest fights. He said it took the edge off. Not saying that that's a good idea. You shouldn't do cocaine. You shouldn't, shouldn't party before training, but my intestines had a fucking party in the bathroom. So the edge is off. There's no pressure. Let's just go in there and sling some fucking weights. Have a good day. We'll talk a little bit longer on the ride home about what happened in those doors. But for now, I'm going to flip this camera off. I will speak to you guys after I'm done maxing out.
Lock the doors. This is probably the longest intro in music history. It's one of the best songs in music history too, but. Shitty jerk. Alright guys, I'm calling it. I used every ounce of what I had on that clean and jerk and cortisol dump I had after that was a lot. So we're gonna call it on these and we're gonna recover because as an experienced weightlifter that seems like, or I know that that is the best move. And if I were to push these, I would just add fatigue while getting absolutely nothing out of it. Call it a day and be happy with our 303. We beat our goal. Today's the win. I'll talk to you bastards in the fucking car. All right, fuck yeah, dude. We still have the momentum. We just gotta keep recovering and training hard and these sessions are gonna keep getting better. But today was big. I don't know if you remember two weeks ago, but I said, two weeks from now, I'm on a total 300. And we fucking nailed that today. Only one miss on the day, if you don't count the front squat triple miss. I was packed by the end of that, like dead. Whenever you like sell out for a lift like that, it just leaves you so dead afterwards but I'm glad we did it. It's a 303 total, so we beat the goal. I was about to go 67, but I was just like, the 160 clean was really easy. I kind of felt like if we put 170 on the bar to get a little nervous, then it's gonna result in a better lift than if we just take like a safe 167 that I know I can make. Nerves are fucking good. You guys, like, if you're not using nerves to help your lifts, you're missing out. Like, if you're nervous about taking a lift, that's good. That means you are going to do everything you need to do to make that lift. As long as you commit. The progress is continuing to come, guys. This cycle of the dog pack is really dialed. I love how evenly the work is spread out. There's no day that really leaves you beat to a pulp, which is a problem I've had in the past with programs is there's, you feel good, you're doing, and then there's like one day on the program that's just like disproportionately harder than all the other days. There's Say like you have a Monday, you have a bunch of volume in the lifts, then you have hard back squats, then you have pulls. We do something similar to that, but we're not doing both lifts. We're doing one of them. We're working up to a set. We're not doing a ton of volume. And then you have the strength work, which is dosed to where it's effective. So yeah, we're not overtraining at all. We're putting in as much work as we need to put in every single day to where we can still recover, but also still make progress. There's like this little area right underneath the red line to where you have to tread right in that line. And if you don't do enough, then you're gonna be below it and you're not gonna make progress. If you do too much, then you're gonna do too much, you're gonna be too beat down, and your body's not gonna be able to catch up and recover. The reason that's so important is people are like, no, you should train as hard as you fucking can all the time. Intention-wise, that's true. Intentionally, like, your intention should be, I'm gonna take what's on the program and do it the best I can. But if there's too much on the program, then that will affect the work that comes after that. So if you go too hard on a Monday, you're beat down as fuck, you're sore, you're achy on a Tuesday, the work you put in on that Tuesday is not gonna be as high quality as the work you put in on Monday. And then when you're literally 
beating the dead horse with your body, like you're already beat down, you put more work on top of it, that trickles into Wednesday, then that trickles into Thursday, Friday, and it, you just have to make sure you don't cross that red line. And I feel like this cycle of the dog pack nails that. So we have energy every single day. The work is scattered. You're not pushing the same thing in consecutive days at all. And I just think it's one of the better programs I've ever written. I feel great, I'm feeling good. We total over 300 today. 310 either next week or the following week would be great. But guys, I'm having a fuckload of fun training. I'm really happy I'm back. I'm happy I'm back on the dog pack. It just feels like I'm fucking where I'm supposed to be training. I'm making the I'm making some good progress. The training feels great and the body feels great. So if you want to join this and do the same fucking programming I'm doing when I'm doing it, all you have to do is sign up for the dog pack. One thing I'll talk about is in the max out session, you probably saw how I went 125 made it then jumped to 130, missed it, just put 133 on. That was mainly because I felt exactly what I did wrong on the 130. Like, as soon as I pulled it off the floor, I just felt like a lack of tension through my back. And you can see in the pool, it was really disconnected in the, like, in the extension. And I just felt like there was like this lag time. Immediately, like before the bar even hit the floor, I knew what I needed to fix for the next one. So I just trusted that. Put a little more weight on that way i could have an increase from last week and nailed it first try and stopped one thing i'm really bad about is just getting a good snatch making a little bit of progress and then being like all right why not get more this wave up i really want to be good about that and like set caps on every friday because that's going to be the best way to kind of keep the progress going it's really normal to have like a really good day hit something really big and then not be able to get back to that, and that just kills your momentum. Um, I know that if I stick this out and I plan it right and I train accordingly, I'm gonna be able to keep making increases and keep getting better. So I just have to fucking trust the process, trust the program on this one, and fucking keep pumping, dude. Monday should be good. We're working down to doubles instead of triples on the block snatches, so heavier weights are gonna be lifted next week, the following week, and indefinitely until I hit the numbers that I wanna hit. Good fucking day. If you guys could, please, Please blow up the comments, uh, especially on this video, because I fucking, I planned this thumbnail out so early. I was like, I want this video to bang. I have a good feeling about this Max Out Friday. I think we're gonna do well, and we did. So if you guys could, like the progress is there. The Operation 360 is underway. We are making progress. We're inching to our goal. So if you guys could just support this video, because if we can see this series out, I think it'll be one of the cooler series that a weightlifting content creator has ever put together. Like if we can keep this going all the way until we hit the goal, I think it'll be one of the cooler things to look back on because you get to see the whole entire buildup of a training cycle and going from all the way out of shape to in the best shape of my life. And I really, really think I'm gonna do it. The more you guys like, comment, and subscribe, the more that fires me up for this series and the better it's gonna get. So if we could just blow those comments up, hit one of the links down there, support the page because it really helps. Like doing these YouTube videos on my own takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, but I want to be able to give you guys something to get you fired up for your training. I know a lot of you might train alone, so just having someone to watch, having something to watch weightlifting can really make a difference. I know because I've been that lifter before that would just kind of be on my own in training and I would just watch so much YouTube of athletes getting after it and it really helped. That's what I wanna do, I wanna help you guys keep pushing this fucking channel. So let's see how far we can take this thing. Like, comment, subscribe, get supplements, get Gorilla Mind, use code DOZER, get some ultralight joggers, I wore those today, the best pants in weightlifting, and get your fucking blood work done with blokes because they have literally turned my goddamn life around and made me feel so much better and it's only been a fucking month. So get all that done. Thank you guys so much, and most importantly, sign up for the dog pack, because we are cooking right now. The stove is hot. Get in and cook while the stove is hot. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for all the engagement, for everything. You guys are the fucking best, and I love you all. Let's have a good week of training next week.